Welcome back to the Cryptlast Passive Income YouTube channel. Today we're talking about True DeFi. I want to talk about our underdog investor strategy. I'm going to bring this screen up right here. Bam. And we're going to talk about True DeFi. If you can understand this concept and this idea, you'll do really well in DeFi. If you fail to understand this concept or you fail to implement it, you'll probably get wrecked over and over and over, or at least you won't see the returns or the meaningful life-changing gains that you could. First thing I want to talk about is effort results. And this is true for all of life, by the way. Most people are putting in a ton of effort for a little bit of results, meaning that they have no leverage. You know, they're putting in this much effort and they're getting this much result. Uh, nine to five, working for money, saving after taxes, after expenses. Again, you can kind of see how that would work here is your, and again, I started there too. Don't feel bad. We all start somewhere, but you could see that here's your lever point. You earned all this money. You worked so hard, but you only kept this much of it because after taxes, you know, expenses, lifestyle, all of the things that we have to pay, we really don't get that far ahead. Now, some people start earning more, so they start working harder to earn more money, and they may find a higher uh, hourly wage. They may find a higher salary. They might get a little more leverage. Like they're kind of like maybe here, they're putting in 60% of effort for like 40% results, but they're never going to exceed it. And in fact, most people go into the negatives. They work harder and harder and harder, but they get more and more in debt. So actually, the results, like, are completely skewed. They're putting in 100 units of effort and they're getting like minus 10 units of results. The system is designed that way. It's unfortunate, but we have to accept that. So what can we do? The simple, if we can understand this framework, you'll do really well as an investor in general. The idea is we take a unit of effort, a unit of energy, which let's just call it $1, and we put it into our system. So you have multiple projects or multiple investments that are earning you a yield. I don't care if it's, we have some stable coin yields that are doing 30% a year, which is freaking nuts. If you actually think about that, most people in DeFi, they'd be like, or most people in crypto would be like, you're only making 30%. Fine. I get it. But let's just say you got something here that's doing you 30. You've got, uh, we've got uh, one play that's doing us 210%. I think most people's ears perk up when they hear that. That's a year, of course. And you can find a lot of pretty much plain Jane pools for 80%. Some people still might say, well, that's that's not very much. I want to make like 5% per day. Well, well, you're not going to sustain that. So if you want to play some DGen plays, play them. But look at this. Like if you actually understand this. So get this. You're putting, you're putting a unit of energy here and you're getting a 30% return on it. Now, some people do a 50-50 split. So at the end of the week, they're putting 50 pack in and 50 goes into their bull run bag. And we'll explain that in a second here. Here you're going 210%. Again, some people will do 50-50. Some people do 100. It doesn't really matter. But we're taking the returns and we're going to get yield on yield. And here we're doing 80%. We're taking those returns and we're getting yield on yield. I'm typically only in five or six projects at a time. I don't think it's beneficial to be in 30 different projects. A lot of people are. And when they actually calculate, are you further ahead? The answer is no. You're in four, five, six quality projects. Every time we find something new that outperforms one of the projects we're in, we'll just pick the lowest performer, drop it out, and replace it with the new performer, with the higher performer. So we're always trying to keep our yields as high as possible, and we're always selecting plays that that you know are aligned with our investment goals, et cetera, et cetera. Then with that, and here's how we were able to build such a big freaking bag, is from those returns, a couple grand, a couple tens of thousands, or a couple hundred, whatever it is you're earning, Maybe you're buying some Bitcoin, you're buying some XRP, you're buying some ETH, you're buying some, I don't care what you're buying. And now you're stacking that for the bull run because you could see, depending what you're buying, a 10x run on your portfolio when the time comes. So you didn't make 210%. At the end of the day, you'll be 10xing that. You didn't make just 80%. You made 800%. You didn't just make 30%. You made 300%. But most people are thinking show, so short term. Leave something in the comments. Let me know. I want this a two-way conversation. Let me know if something is landing. They're so short-term. They're thinking, well, how do I make as much money as possible now? And they're sacrificing massive gains down the road. 
So they're looking for the highest APY, highest returning projects. They're getting rug pulled on half of it. They're losing money, which is rule number one, don't lose money. They're getting into sunk cost projects for some mining companies that it's going to take you 300 days to ROI. And they're just thinking, oh, well, I'm making $3 a day on it. Yeah, but it's going to take you 300 days to ROI, and that won't be around in 300 days. What if we really thought in terms of leverage? How can I deploy $1? And of course, you're not going to deploy just a dollar, but you get the point. I'm going to deploy, you know, um, 20 cents here. I'm going to deploy 30 cents here, and I'm going to deploy 40 cents here. And on the back end of that, I'm going to turn a dollar into $3, and then I'm going to put that $3 in here to turn that into 30. So you have turned $1 into 30. Does that make sense? This is not a one-month thing. We're thinking six months, 12 months, 24 months out. But if you could become completely financially free or take a massive stride in an increase of your net worth in the next 24 months, is that that long of a period of time? And if you're saying yes, this game is not for you. Investing is literally not for you at all. In fact, and I learned this the hard way. So I know I'm speaking kind of harshly because I'm really passionate about this, but I want this message to land because I did that till I was 31-ish. I see 21-year-olds who have such a better shot at this. It took me freaking 14, 13 years of working really hard, hitting my head against the wall until I actually understood this concept. I was so short-term. And it did not take long to change that trajectory into like, I don't know the last time I checked my bank account because I really don't give a crap. It doesn't take that long. And if 12 months is long, we have to reprogram that. We got to rethink that. There's massive wealth to be made. There's massive amounts of money to be made. And there's a difference between rich and wealth, by the way. Rich is like scrounging for as much money as I could possibly make today and just trying to grow your bank account. Wealth to me is like, yeah, the bank accounts are growing, but you also have peace. You also have freedom with what you do with your day. You also have freedom in the projects you choose to devote your time into and the businesses or the people or the things that mean something to you. And you're waking up in peace. That to me is wealth. And you got your time for your family and time for your friends and time for whatever you want to do. So just understand if we can really understand this and just let me know in the comments if you get this is how do we deploy a dollar into three, four, five projects that are earning us awesome yield. We're not going for 3% per day anymore. Don't do it. And we're moving that into a strategically built portfolio that for me has a potential of 10x. For some people, that's a 25x on their portfolios because they've designed it differently. And for others, that might be a 5x because they're extremely conservative and they're you know mostly weighted in Bitcoin or something like that. So let me know if this lands. Check out the Underdog Investor Group. Maybe I'll take this off and like just click the link and scroll through it. See how big people are winning both in their income they're producing. But to me, that's not actually the most important part. It's the income and then what they're doing with that income to set them up. And they're going to look back in 12 or 24 months and they're going to be in a very different financial position than they were before they started. And they're going to be stacked with a bunch of different skills that's going to pay them and pave their way for the next few decades. Like the actual financial and investing skills. That's what the Underdog Investor Group is all about. You can get 20% off your first month if you feel so called to joining us. Uh, and we hold a lot of calls. We hold sometimes three to four calls a week that you have access to, trainings, uh, picks, different projects. And investment reports on Fridays, technical analysis calls now on Thursdays with David, who's a wizard. So do check it out if you want, scroll through it. Either way, I just hope this concept lands. If this concept lands, you're going to do really, really well. Do let me know if it did. With that said, I'm going to move my little mug into the middle. I'll put some videos up here and here and here and here. Do check them out. And with that said, play the game right. Don't be a gambler, be an investor. That's our whole thing is like go from gambling to investing. Most people are thinking and calling themselves investors and they're not. They're gamblers. And they're losing. Don't do that. All right, I'm out of here. Peace.